All right, here we go. Question number four from our 0314 homework number four in my lab math. They want us to solve the following system of equations using the substitution method. OK, so first things first, substitution works best if you have a variable by itself. And we can see in this second equation that we do have X by itself. And what that means, it means I'm going to be able to take the 4y minus 5, since that's what x is equal to, and I'm going to be able to uh, replace the x in the first equation with 4y minus 5. So we're going to substitute for x what it's equal to, okay? So that's going to give me 3y plus... 4y minus 5, replacing the x with 4y minus 5, equals 8. And then I can solve for y. Okay, so doing a little CLT, a little combined like terms, we're going to get 7y. Minus 5 is going to move over and become plus 5. 5 and 8 is 13. And divide both sides by 7. And we're going to get what y is equal to. Okay, so we get y is 13 sevenths. It's not going to divide nicely. So we're going to leave it effed up. Okay, we're going to leave it fractioned up. Now that I know y, I need to know x. And if you notice right here, I've got x by itself. So I'm going to do substitution again, this time replacing y with what it's equal to. OK, so that's going to give me X equals four times 13 sevenths minus five. OK, and what better way to do this calculation than with the calculator? Let's figure that out. OK, four times as a fraction, 13 sevenths minus 5 is 17 sevenths. Whoops. Got to be color consistent here. 17 sevenths. And now we know the point of intersection. Okay, we have our ordered pair. So let's come check it. The solution of the system is, and remember x has to go first. So that's going to be 17 sevenths and 13 sevenths. Check it. Bam. And is that done? Yeah, that's done. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.